it would always chill you to see some of the weapons for sale. So, could you give me an idea of the kind of weapons you have for sale in gun shops in Ireland? Yes, sir. I... Sorry, Mr. Conrad, before we go on, I, I was taken to task recently by, by somebody who said that we shouldn't use weapon, they're firearms. It's a technical thing, I think. But anyway, um, weapons, I'm told, are designed to hurt and kill and used for that. Right. I didn't know yes. either. I should have I'm not an expert in that. I but I think okay. we should use the term can, firearm can I, instead of weapon. Can, can I interrupt, interrupt for Indeed, of course, Mr. Costello. Uh, I'll just point out that a weapon technically is something that is used to commit an assault. Okay. You know, the, the, yeah. so a, a, a golf club could be a weapon. Of course. Yeah. You know. Weapons training then would not be the correct term well, to use. Well, uh, unless you're talking about playing golf. Right. <laughs> 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 okay, we have a question for Mr. Conrad. Um, I'd like to start off, I have just have two points to make. The first is perhaps a small one, um, but <laughs> language shapes thought, we keep using the word weapon. I'd re I have a very low expectation uh, of what I'd like to see from today, but my Christmas list is if we could stop using that word. If we could stop using that word, I'd be a really happy man, okay. because I don't have weapons. This and I'm happy if you want to read this. This is fine. I can't submit it unfortunately to committee. It's a, mm. there's an official document aspect to it. This is my firearm certificate. The word weapon appears nowhere on this. It appears nowhere in the legislation that governs the issuing of this. And quite frankly, I, I know that we always train everybody to uh, from the first day that they start in target shooting to believe every firearm is lethal or could be lethal if abused. In, in truth, the actual firearm that this uh, uh, certificate is for is my air pistol, and in, yes, it, it could actually be lethal. I would have to hold you down and beat you with it uh, in order to kill you with it. If I tried to shoot you with it, you, you, you would just get annoyed. Um, I, I, I would literally have to feed you the pellets in your stew from the cafeteria to give you lead poisoning to harm you with this thing. It, it, <laughs> I, I've gone into countries with this and presented the license. Uh, to the customs agents and they've looked at me and kind of gone, that's not a real gun, what are you talking about? Um, so just, just that one word, because it, when people keep saying weapon, they keep having these rather unusual beliefs about what it is that we do. Um, they keep seeing Hollywood films in their head. I've trained about a thousand people over the years to shoot. I've never met one who knew what we did before he started or she started. Um, and they're always of the opinion that it's nothing like what they thought it would be. And about the best description I've ever heard of our sports is that it's like golf without the exciting bits. So uh, people keep saying weapon and it, 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 it's confusing on one level, it's, it's just downright silly on another level. I, I would just love if we could stop using that word. We'll do our best. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I know it's a lovely point. Have you a second point to make? The second point is... Yeah, final question. question. Um, I think the practical issue, as I understood it from the Gardaí, was that they don't want anybody to have possession of a weapon. You know, obviously, uh, I'll tell you why I'm going to say weapon. For I actually don't agree with your point. I, I think you have to remember, you're members, members of sporting clubs. We're lay people here in the Oireachtas. The vast, vast majority of citizens wouldn't draw a distinction between a weapon or a firearm in their own. Because, you know, you, you live in a world, where, you know, it's the Hollywood culture. You watch the movies. People, the, the difference between weapons and firearms, I, I know f you're focusing on that terminology. Uh, for most people out there, they wouldn't see a difference. I don't think that's the most important point, frankly. But in, ter but in terms of the issue of the uh, automatic rifles, weapons that may be used... Uh, the, the, yeah, I think I'd like to sorry, sorry, Mr. Dinn, he first uh, tried it's, it's just... Uh, I understand the deputy's point uh, regarding how they people regard the word weapon and the word firearm. Um, I don't actually, honestly, I don't have a problem with that. I, I've trained, like I said, several thousand or several hundred people. When they come in, they don't know anything about our sport, and we don't turn around and, and slap them in the face and say, "Get out," because you call it a weapon. All right, but it's our job to train. Yeah. But uh, if I'm talking, say, for example, to my father, like I was a few days ago in my kitchen, and he says the word "weapon" when he's talking about these things, I don't haul him up on it. Mm. It's an informal chat, you know. I don't have one of these lovely little light-up microphones in my kitchen. And I don't talk to the people, who, like the men and women who draft our laws in my kitchen. This is not an informal setting. This is a formal it's a fair one. point, yeah. And that's why I'm... I'm a, well, I can tell you right now, there's about 10,000 people watching us on my camera, and I'm fairly sure a large number of them are laughing at me for this, but it's, it's just... This is such a fundamental thing. This gets in below all the stuff we're talking about, because it's shaping the way you're thinking about it from the outside. That's that's why I'm 
Maybe no, it's I a fair point that it's accepted. Yeah. Language is important, Mr. McGann. Uh, sorry.